everyone, welcome to a new video here at the Betty Loves Bricks channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about modular buildings because brace yourselves, 1st of December there is a new modular building coming out. It really is an amazing one. So if you've been with me from the start then you know that I have a love for modular buildings. I love great architecture. The past few years I've been busy on creating my own Lego modular city. Among my favorites are Assembly Square and the police station. But also uh, this mock that I made uh, called the Chinatown office. And what I love is that all these buildings together they create lovely and amazing storylines and I think Lego has just dropped the bomb on something new that is gonna come out. Lego is releasing a new Lego modular building usually in January of the new year and they've been doing that for like 18 years now so there are a lot of modular buildings out there. For some reason they've decided to do the new release not on January 1st 2024 but to do it on the 1st of December 2023 which is just in a couple of weeks this modular building can already be pre-ordered i am talking about the natural history museum and i have to say it is it is pretty great so if you already are a fan of modular buildings you know that usually those buildings are based on a square base plate they almost all have the same dimensions this natural history museum mind yourself it's going to be one and a half base plate wide uh, so it's going to be quite as as big as assembly square set was which was huge by the way this natural history museum it's actually the largest modular building set so far because it contains like 4014 bricks that's a lot so you will need a good of 16 inches 40 centimeters to squeeze that into your city but i promise you it's well worth it Obviously these sets, these modular building sets, they are 18 plus sets, meaning they are for adults. Quite quite huge, they're very extensive to, to build, but they also have a certain price range. Uh, I think most modular buildings, they go from 200 to 300 bucks, euros, dollars. What do you expect with, a thousand, with thousands of bricks that have to be laid out, you know? I think the first thing you immediately notice from this gorgeous building are the olive green bricks that are being used. It gives this museum such a pretty color. I think it is the same color as the bricks being used in the 2014 Parisian restaurant modular set. And just take a look at the pillars, the white pillars on the front. It just makes it look amazing. And then you have this blossoming tree on the corner. And then you've got the two banners on the side. This is all um, resembling the exhibits that you will also see inside the museum. And there's a window washer on the front. Just looking at the exterior, I'm just completely amazed by this building. And then especially if you take into account how large it is. I, I think this one is going to look absolutely stunning in my modular city. So the Natural History Museum, it is a two-story building. Usually the modular buildings are three stories. It looks to me like the stories are a little bit higher or taller. So even if you put it right next to the other modular buildings, it's still gonna have approximately the same height. There's a little bench on the, on the left side and there's a post box there. And there's also a statue, which reminds me of Galileo actually, but we'll come back to that later. And then on the right side of the building, like I said, there is this huge blossom tree. It looks so good. There are even some flower petals on the floor and there's also another statue there of a woman. And this is also quite important, I think. All the modular buildings, they have amazing printed details. They contain no stickers whatsoever. They never have, and I hope they never will. If you take a good look at the roof, that looks pretty awesome, right? You've got these two little uh, corner pieces with a tiny little micro figure in there. And then in the middle, you see this, this bowl. It kind of looks a little bit like an observatory uh, deck, but it actually is the curator's office. And then of course the front of the, and then in front of the building, the streets are paved just like you would see with any other modular building set. Uh, so the inside, like I said, it is uh, two floors. So the first floor uh, has several natural history exhibits. And then the second floor has its focus more on space and science artifacts. But the second floor has these little open sections creating an atrium, which is needed be because one of the exhibits is this large Brachiosaurus skeleton. That thing has such a tall neck, it needs to be able to stick up to the second floor. So I think that is 
just beautifully done. I mean, and just look at the Brachiosaurus itself. You can take it out. It's on a little platform, you know, so you can play around with it a little bit more. So at the left side, there is a little stairway heading upstairs, but it is also a room with antiquities. So there are some jars in there, old clay pots. And if you look closely, you can see that someone is sweeping up the floor because apparently one of the pots has uh, fallen down or broken. So it kind of makes you wonder what happened there. The room right next to it. So this is the entrance lobby. There's a cashier's deck here, a little shop where you can also buy museum gifts. And then the back wall of the reception area can be removed or a telescope right there where some lab research is taking place, but there is also a toilet. I think this is an inside joke from Lego because the toilet has been coming up in a lot of recent sets at the Ninjago City Streets Market. And there also was an actual working toilet and it was such a great feature. And ever since that has come out, I've been spotting toilets in recent builds more and more often, more and more frequently. I think this has become kind of like an inside joke of Lego. Also, one of the things that I absolutely love about these modular buildings is that the, the base plate, it is completely tiled up from the tiles in front of the buildings to create the street, but also the insides of each and every modular building. They've used tiles to create awesome mosaic floor, beautiful squares, arches, well, and it really is um, one of the key features of being a Lego modular building. What I also can see is that the walls between the rooms, they actually have archways. And then the third room on the downstairs floor is the dinosaur room where you have a huge Brachiosaurus skeleton. But also, for example, look at this. You've got a, a dinosaur head uh, right here at the back and that looks pretty awesome. But then look at this little plaque with a fossil on it. They've actually used the whip to create a fossil-like piece here and I think it looks amazing. So that was the, the first floor and then we go up to the second floor. Starting at the left, there's another staircase heading up. I can't really look into this room, but, but what I can see in the middle section, They've made like this little plaque on the wall. It kind of resembles a map of Earth. And then there's a, a little spaceship, a rocket with a tra trajectory lane. There's a little ra rocket launcher on the side as well. So this, this area is mainly contributed to exploring the future and outer space. What you also have in the space section is this planetary orbit piece where you have several planets from our galaxy represented, completely made out of Lego. I think that piece looks amazing. And then on the far right side, there is a room which is, is a dedication to historical Lego sets. So you will see like several hats that are iconic pieces throughout Lego history with a little tiny micro build to go with it. And then we have that beautiful, gorgeous rooftop that actually comes with two skylights. So beautiful rounded uh, black windows. And then as you can see, there's a, a little telescope right next to it because on the top here is the curator's office with a lovely door that opens up. There's a little desk inside. There's a typewriter, a chair, uh, several awards. And just have a good look at that curator because he kind of looks familiar to you. Then you're probably right because that is quite a resemblance to Dr. Kilroy. That is a minifigure from the Lego Avengers theme, which was a theme from late 90s, beginning zeros. And Dr. Kilroy was kind of like an Indiana Jones type, if you know what I mean. And then you also have the back of the building where, hey, there he is again, the little dog with the bone. Uh, the bone seems to be, to be in a garbage can right next to this beautiful arched doorway, which resembles a little bit the front of the building. Can you imagine crooks getting out of here with some of the museum historic pieces? Thank God my Lego city has a police station. <laughs> this natural history museum, it's gonna make a very great addition to any Lego modular city. Now let's talk minifigures. You get two people that work at the museum, a female and a male person. You can recognize them by their blue cardigans and their little uh, museum pass. There obviously also is the curator who resembles Dr. Kilroy. There is a minifigure in an in a blue overall, which is the window washer. Looking by his beard and his hat, it is actually quite a quite a striking resemblance 
to the designer of the set, Chris McVeigh. And then there are three other minifigures, which is an elderly woman with this little checkered cardigan. Uh, she also sits outside on the bench to feed the birds. Uh, and there is a woman with short hair and a disabled leg. And there's a, a little kid in a green vest. Uh, so mom and the kid can go to the museum. And then there is this little French bulldog who has a taste for bones. So seven beautiful minifigures that you get with this set. This week, I kind of have to be quick about this because this week there is also a lovely gift with purchase that you can get with any Lego purchases above $130. It is the tribute to Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei was a very famous astronomer, physicist, uh, mathematician, from the 1500s and Lego has made this beautiful little tribute piece to Galileo. It only has 300 pieces but as you can see it has a little office space for him, a large desk to work with. Uh, there's, a, there's a lovely painting of Pisa on his wall that is I think that is the place where he was working from. It is a, a wonderful little display piece but I don't know. I think the timing of this set now coming out together with the Natural History Museum. I don't know. I have a feeling like we sort of have to find a way to integrate this gift with purchase into the museum set somehow. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and do it. And I'll probably show you guys on this on this channel again. But uh, as a standalone, it already is a very lovely little dedication piece to science and to astronomy said so this promotion is gift with purchase it's a, it is of course upon availability but the promotion will be running until the 16th of november so if you're going to be pre-ordering the natural history museum you will automatically be eligible to receive this gift with purchase if it's still available and yes this was my preview of the lego modular natural history museum i hope you guys liked it so let me know what do you think of this set have you already put in your pre-order share with us with the in the comments below don't forget to subscribe yourself to this channel because i will be back with more videos and more new lego news so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Ciao!